Herman Melville joined Nathaniel Hawthorne in leading the Romantic period in American literature by writing powerfully symbolic Romantic novels after 1850. This period is the first great creative period in America. Human psychology, the dark side of life, and man unable to adapt himself to society fascinated both Hawthorne and Melville, and they both write about humanity that is unable to adapt to society. As E.M. Forster explains, the setting is a British man of war after the mutiny of the Noor. Claggart in the novel Billy Budd represents evil. He is evil personified because he shows no presence of conscience. He accuses Billy of trying to incite a mutiny. Billy, on the other hand, represents good. This novel is spasmodically realistic it gives the reader the sensation of a song or maybe a sound. Forster and Falk also explain it this way. Billy Budd is a story of innocent goodness and dark evil and of efforts of a wise and good man to deal with the problem that each of these represents. The individual is of small importance in comparison to the compulsions of social necessity. Billy is sacrificed in the name of national security. The question, or at least one of the questions, to consider when reading this novel is, would Captain Veer have been, um, have been happier if he had yielded to spontaneous impulse to individual justice rather than reasoned considerations? for the good of society? Ask yourself that question as you read through this novel.